Hey, it's Mark. If you've clicked on a link and your default app is not what you expected it to be, meaning you clicked on a link and you opened in the Kiwi browser instead of the Safari browser, for example, you may be wondering, hey, why did that happen? And can I update and change these defaults? The answer is yes. So here's an easy way to do it on an Android phone. I'm using a Pixel 7a for this demo running Android 14. So to do that, you go into your settings on your phone, you're gonna click on apps right there. And then within apps, there's an option that says default apps. Uh, in here, you can see that the top one says browser app and I have Kiwi defaulted. Um, so why would you want Kiwi? Maybe because you can run a Chrome extensions on a mobile device with a desktop version of Chrome, which you can't do on a Chrome browser on Android, by the way. So, but if you wanna change that back to Chrome, which I usually prefer Chrome, is just click on Chrome right there. So click on that. So within default apps, these are the different category options that you have. You've got browser, caller ID or spam app, digital assistant, your home app, phone app, SMS, SMS, etc. Um, so those are the options you have within default apps. If you're using Android 11 or earlier, there's something called implicit intent. So uh, Android would sometimes ask you which app you'd like to use after you click on a link before it opens a document or web browser, etc. Text, SMS platform. Um, that kind of went away. Google defaults to the Google apps themselves, but you can also just go in just like I showed you and update those default apps. Within all of your apps, you can update permissions within the app. So those differ from the default that comes kind of when you get a brand new phone. Um, and if you've done that on a lot of apps, um, you may have it customized just how you want. Um, but if you're frustrated with the default apps and you want to reset everything, like you can't get it to work the way you want, and you're like, hey, let's just start this thing over, you can go nuclear. To, so to do that and reset all of your default apps, you, I'm going to back out of here for a second to show you in the settings. You go into your settings on your phone, you click on apps, and then you're going to click on see all apps right there. So once you're in see all apps, you click on the three dot menu up in the top right, and then reset app preferences. Um, so I'm not gonna do this all right now because my phone's a little bit customized for me, but you can see here in the text, all of the things that happen when you reset the preferences. You know, it's gonna reset for disabled apps, disabled app notifications, applicate background data, permissions, battery usage setting, all those things. So if you wanna do that and you're just like, hey, let's start fresh, this is too complicated, you can reset your app preferences right there, which I'm not gonna do in this video. That's how you update your default apps. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, give us a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you again soon.